So Ten Bet are refusing to pay out at 175 to one on Trey Mullinax to win the Barbasol Golf Championship. To make matters worse, they advertise this price all week, only changing the payout terms 48 hours after the bet had already won. This is another case of a fully licensed betting company taking the total P. It's totally wrong how they pick and choose which bets win and how much they win after the sporting event has already happened. Now, several of you guys have been in touch, sent me the full details on this, including your bet slips, the prices, the bets were placed at, and the chat transcripts you've had with 10bet customer service agents. So I'll be exposing it all within this video. So the betting question was on Trey Mullinax to win the Barbasol Golf Championship. Now, quite a few guys reached out about this. Obviously, there's large liabilities on the line here, and it's a sensitive issue, so I'm gonna redact some of the information that I share in this video for those reasons. But 10 bet were advertising this bet at a price of 175 to one via websites like oddschecker.com and golfbettingsystems.co.uk. Also, available prices with alternate firms were very similar. I can see with Betway, it was 125 to one. With Bet365, it was 150 to one, and also, with Sport Nation, it was 175 to one, and I've got proof of that. Supposedly, the exchange price was around about 270.0. Now, here's a bet slip from Sport Nation where they've actually paid out. I want you to remember that right now for later on in this video. So, Trey is competing in the championship as an outsider, and he starts to show some promise, which is also another point I'd like to make here. In play, some people placed additional bets on Trey Mullinax at 125 five to one with some firms. He then goes on to win his first PGA Tour title from the edge of the 18th green with a 15 foot putt. And initially, all bets are settled. Nothing wrong with that, which is where this betting slip comes from. Because you'll see that 10bet initially paid out the winnings in full to all punters that took the price of 175 to one. The real trouble starts 48 hours after the bet has been settled when punters mysteriously see that this bet has been canceled on their account. And in some instances, their entire betting balance is wiped to zero. As you can imagine, Imagine panic ensues, and so backers of Trey get in touch with 10bet custom support, a fully licensed and verified company via the UK Gambling Commission, where they say, what's happened to my winnings here? Why is my bet no longer settled as a profit? where the customer service agents then become incredibly murky and unclear depending on who you talk to. Now, one person I spoke to showed me their customer service chat where the customer service agent become quite confused and changed the odds several times within that particular chat. First of all, saying the price was wrong at 175 to one. It was a palpable error, a genuine mistake on 10 bets behalf. They wanted to move the odds to 160 to one and then before the end of the chat finished, changing it to 100 to to one. For context, that means that a price of 175 to one, they had Trey's chances priced at just 0.6% of winning the Barbasol Championship. When they changed it to 100 to one, they're saying that he had a 1% chance, almost double the difference in terms of probability. Now, for anyone that doesn't understand what a palpable error means, in betting, it is a get out clause where a company can say that we made an obvious and clear mistake where somebody has manually input some incorrect information information into one of our systems that we now need to correct. The difference in this situation being that they advertise these odds for an entire week before the outcome of the Barbasol Championship, waited 48 hours until after the event, and then decided to move the price. Not forgetting, in addition, that Sport Nation also took bets at the same price and paid it out without a problem, and other operators like Bet365 and Betway took very close to those prices. So I don't think it was an obvious and clear mistake. Quite frankly, they had all week to correct it. They take millions of pounds daily and they could at least own up and take this one on the chin. I mean, can you imagine it in any other industry? I just don't understand how this is possible for bookmakers in 2022. If you were to go out for a meal in a restaurant, you looked at the menu boards outside, decided what you wanted to eat, went in, confirmed that order with the waiter, had your food, ate it, and then as you left, they decided that they were gonna charge you some extra money. It's just unbelievable and so, so wrong. But it gets worse, far worse. These sore losers at 10bet have now taken things to the next 
step. They've started to target the accounts that placed this savvy bet on Trey Mullinax and restrict their stakes. Now for anybody in the outside world that's not heavy on their betting, this is a common practice that dirty bookmakers like 10bet use where they restrict winning accounts to stop you winning into the future because at 10bet is losers only please. Clearly a lack of integrity, which makes you wonder if this hadn't happened, if Trey hadn't actually won here, would 10bet have been putting out editorials, refunding customers, compensating them for their mistake? I think not. Every time this happens, it always happens in one direction and the little guy has to suck it up. The gambling commission does absolutely nothing about it. So what is actually likely to happen here? Well, I think in this instance, it's really quite clear cut. Anybody affected should be contacting IBAS. IBAS should settle this in the favor of the punter for several reasons. And make sure you mention them when submitting to IBAS. First of all, the odds were available for an extended period of time from 10 bet they made no changes to those odds throughout the week also competitors were offering the same and similar prices and they have not claimed that this is a palpable error also 10 bet settled the bet and only 48 hours after they realized they've probably lost a shed load of money did they decide that they were going to declare this as a palpable error and finally in play bets were available at a larger price than 10 bet have tried to rip people off with changing the odds to 100 to 1 afterwards. Make sure you clearly state that in your IBAS claim. I think they'll settle in your favor in this instance. However, that doesn't help us overall because the Gambling Commission is still licensing and allowing this kind of behavior to go on regularly. As you may have realized in this video here in the end screen where Coral took the complete and utter P out of one guy who placed a 25 pound bet on one of their editorial sponsors inside the Sun newspaper.